space in here, but um, Go ahead. my man what do you need to do? do anything from home when you're at the market. Oh, and I love it here. This is like my new work. So. Yeah. Okay, ready? Mm hmm Are you live? Yeah. On my Facebook? Yeah. <laughs> This is Tamara Lankowski from HealthyTreatsMarket.com, class number two. So what I decided to do, everything is always evolving here, and I think that's how it needs to be. you got to figure out what works for you. So I have this sweet, sweet lady who's become my friend. I love her to death. Um, not going to say who she is. She came in. She, uh, she has, she's already down about almost 35 pounds. But she told me that she cheated, so uh, she gained a, about a pound, pound and a half this last week. So I asked her, I said, what did you cheat with? She said, I cheated with mac and cheese, Chinese food, pizza, cheese sticks, and tacos. Those were the five things that she named that she cheated with. So I'm here to show you guys that you don't have to cheat, okay? None of you ever have to cheat. We're gonna make mac and cheese, Chinese food, pizza sticks, tacos, and pizza. Okay, cheese sticks and pizza. So we're gonna do all that today. Plus, um, I've got two new bars. I don't know if we're, one of them is probably gonna be permanent, maybe both, I don't know. Um, so we normally have the coconut bars that taste like a mounds bar. And we have the mocha bars that we put chocolate in and we put um, coffee on top. Those are coconut bars too. These are all coconut bars. We just put, we just came up with a peppermint bar, peppermint patty bar. It does, does it taste like a peppermint patty? It does? Okay. So it tastes like a peppermint patty. And then we came up with a peanut butter chocolate chip coconut bar. Did you guys like that? Be honest. If you would buy that, put your hand up. Okay. Because some of, that's one that I thought would be like a total great thing. And some of my kids didn't like it. And I like it. <laughs> yeah. well, honest, honestly, what I love about the peanut butter uh, chocolate chip bar, the thing with peanut butter and chocolate is it's super high in calories. Like, it's hard to make a clean, healthy peanut butter chocolate bar, and that's why you add the coconut to make it filling and reduce the calories. Honey, you guys just come sit down. Don't worry about it. Just find a seat and sit down. <laughs> All right, guys. First thing I'm going to talk about is... This is what I do every day. I make my own flavored <laughs> water now. I buy the Young Living oils. The grapefruit one is delicious. The orange is delicious. The lemon is delicious. You can do pro oil things your blood. So if you like something a little bit strong and you're doing a baby aspirin or something, just keep your blood thin. Pro oil is a perfect one to do. So you do about three drops in 32 ounces. And then you add about a teaspoon of sweetie to it. And I'm going to mix that. This is, this is so much healthier than buying flavored water. And when you do this, when you flavor your water a little bit, I'm being very honest. I could never drink more than 64 ounces a day. I can do a gallon a day doing this. So I have a 32 ounce bucket, and what I do is I, um, I just fill it up four times a day, and I drink it, and that's my gallon. So I love doing that. So I want you guys to try this. Kristen, honey, when you're done, give everybody a sample of this water in these cups. I'll put the cups here. But the Young Living drops, like they go a lot much longer way. And then you don't have the coloring, you don't have the bad sugar. I, I don't know. Even the healthy ones. Sometimes I get a headache. Like I don't want to. I don't want to badmouth anything. I just feel like this is the best, cleanest way to go. Okay, so that's the, that's the flavored water alternative. Um, I'm gonna give you a cup to use for that. Next, we're gonna do kombucha alternative. If you're doing keto, and kombucha is very good, everybody knows kombucha is really good for you, right? Everybody knows that. You do have to be careful when you buy them from the store. They do add a lot of flavors and sugars to them. So you just want to be real careful of what you buy. But I love kombucha. 
because it's higher in carbs, I'm scared to like drink it that often. I know it's good for you and full of life probiotics. So this is my kombucha alternative. I do my ginger detox, okay? Um, and then what I do is I do equal parts. So I add an equal amount of club soda to the ginger detox. And I'm telling you, it tastes like a kombucha alternative. And it's so good for you. What are you drinking? Water, ginger, turmeric, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar. It's sweetened with my sweetener. And the nice thing about this club soda is it's got uh, sodium bicarbonate in it. So it's got baking soda in it. Baking soda is, uh, is um, alkaline, so it alkalizes your body. So this is super, super healthy. And it's no carbs and it's no calories. So I'm gonna have you guys try this too. I had to fill it to the top to make it spill, right? Okay, so she'll, they'll put that for you. Okay, next. I think we should do the cheese sticks because this thing has been on. Let me see if it's sizzling. Yeah, it's sizzling. Okay, guys. I love this machine. If you can't see, don't hesitate to come over here. Don't, don't you feel bad at all, okay? Or we can move that or something so you can see. Um, this corn dog maker is like the best thing. Yeah, you don't worry about it. You can move it or. I know how to take it out. Let me take it out. I love the corn dog maker because it, um, you can make cheese sticks, pizza sticks. It just comes out like this. There, now can you see better? Okay, that's good. So, I'm gonna do this one the, the keto way with the eggs and cream. But you don't have to do eggs and cream. You can do egg whites and Greek yogurt. You guys know by now all my stuff. With this thing, you can make cheese sticks, pizza sticks, pigs in a blanket. You can make corn dogs. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. And you can make them ahead and freeze them and then just toast them. That's what's nice about this. I love this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one egg to the garlic mix, and then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more than that. You probably need about a quarter cup. And you know what? This will, you can stretch this mix out to make a double of these, okay? I usually get five um, cheese sticks and they're the big ones. They're like the one that's twice that size. So let me get a fork. but I like it to be nice and thick because the, the batter in a cheese stick is kind of thick. So what I'm gonna do, I need a spatula too. Okay, so now this is hot. Guys, if you have a problem with waffles sticking to a waffle maker or pancakes sticking or anything like that, it's because this isn't hot enough, okay? You gotta turn it on, let it get hot. Look at this, my butter is sizzling. It's got to be sizzling like that before you pour the stuff in. Otherwise, it will stick. So you got to be careful about that. Now I'm going to put just a teeny bit in each one. You guys watching me? You don't need a lot. Believe me, they grow. <laughs> and I'm not going to use it all, but I'm not joking. You really can stretch this out. You can stretch it out to make a whole lot more than just that, okay? Now I'm gonna take this, what I did is I bought mozzarella sticks and all I'm doing is sticking it in here. I need another. I'm gonna stick it in here and I'm covering it up with my mix. You see that? Okay, I'm gonna get another one. And you can put jalapenos in here. You could do whatever you want. But when you can do this, why would you ever be tempted to eat cheese sticks. You know what I'm saying? These are keto, they're healthy, they'll make you lose weight. If anything, they won't put weight on you. Okay. Now we're gonna close this and we're gonna let it cook for a couple minutes, okay? Now while that's cooking, 
for those of you that don't have a lot of gadgets, you don't need them, okay? It's nice to have them, it gives you variety, but you don't need them if you don't have them. So what I did is I put one serving of the garlic garlicaholic bread mix in here, and I'm gonna make me a pizza bowl. All I do with this, now I want protein. I do a lot of protein because I have a bad heart. I don't like to do high fat. I'll do that as a treat once in a while, but normally what I like to do is low carb, low calorie, low fat, high protein. So that's what this is. This pizza, just this mix alone with the egg whites and Greek yogurt is going to have 28 grams of protein in it. Okay, that's just for the mix. That doesn't include the turkey pepperoni and the bacon bits and stuff. So I'm gonna do my quarter cup egg whites, my two tablespoons of Greek yogurt, and I wanna get another fork. Give me a second. Okay. Ooh, that was probably more than that, but that's fine. And don't feel, you know, if you don't have a measuring, it's all good, it's all healthy stuff. What you're eating in this bread, this bread is what reversed my heart failure, okay? You're not eating bread. It tastes like bread, but it's not real bread. What you're eating is organic coconut flour, flaxseed, let me microwave it, nutritional yeast, sunflower lecithin. You're eating pink salt, I only use pink salt. You're eating sodium husk, you're eating egg whites, you're eating Greek yogurt, and I put other stuff in it, I don't remember everything I put in it, but it's all superfood, healthy, clean ingredients. You, I say this every time, but I swear to you, I'm not joking, like if you don't read labels, you deserve to be deceived. If you just sit there like, and you go to the doctor and the doctor says you have this, 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 and you don't like at least try to do your own research to see how you can help your doctor naturally by helping, you know, eating the right things or dieting or exercising or whatever, you're, you're not going to get anywhere. You're not. So, you know, it's like going to, if you just go to church and listen to the pastor, if you don't study the Bible for yourself, you're only going to learn what the pastor knows and that's not enough. Nobody knows it all. So read and study labels. Why I'm saying that is because you can go to Costco or Aldi or Walmart or anywhere and buy keto bread. The number one ingredient in keto bread is gluten. So yes, you can make a bread with gluten and call it keto, but what's it gonna do for you? It is not gonna make you healthy. Okay guys, so that's why we do this. That's why we, I mean, had I done that. Or the mozzarella oh, sticks. Sorry. Had I done that, I would have never got healthy if I would have just, you know, uh, did the gluten and did the high fat and did the meat and eggs and cheese keto. I might have lost weight, but I would have dropped down a bad heart. And I have testimony of a girl that did that. If you see in my testimonies, I'm sitting right there with two ladies next to me. And one lady dropped a lot of weight doing keto and had a heart attack. And then she came to see me. She said she dropped 10 pounds in 12 days, and for the first time ever, her blood pressure was normal since her heart attack. So this works, guys, and this is the this is the clean, healthy way of doing it. You can do this forever. You should do this forever. There's no reason not to do it forever. Okay, guys, I am going to, what I forgot to do is melt a little bit of butter. Gonna, oh, this got egg whites in it. Let me do this one. I'm just going to melt some butter to put on the cheese sticks. I'm going to make them taste like Little Caesars. Okay, while that's happening, while that's microwaving, I'm going to get them out. This is the tricky part. This is the hardest part. You can flip them if you want to, like if you want them toasted all the way. Or you could just fill them with mix, see how they turn out, see how nice they turn out. All right, I'm going to put them in here because I got people wanting to sample these. They look Honestly, good. They, look, <laughs> they are good. Oh my gosh, they're so good. <laughs> Did 
Did you come up with this, AJ, or me? What? AJ did. AJ came up with this. AJ's like yeah. me, where we both struggle because we're big eaters. <laughs> but she just loses weight a lot faster than me. All right, guys, here's the cheese sticks. Here you go, guys, see that? So now here's what I'm gonna do. It smells good. I don't have a brush. They're gonna be kind of runny, but I don't have a brush. I wanna put butter, just like they do. Now, the magic for these is the HTM seasoning, okay? Mm. I put a little bit of, oh, that's hot. Whoops, 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 whoops. Somebody's gonna have a little bit salty, that's okay. And then I'll put garlic. And then I put Parmesan cheese. And you will never be tempted to eat Little Caesars cheese bread when you can eat this. Okay, especially like me, I have kids at home and they're always getting pizza and stuff. I need to make myself healthy alternatives. Okay, sweetie, let me give you this. You can cut it with a fork and just give everybody a bite. Hopefully it's not too salty. It's still good if it's salty. Okay guys, we microwave this. See how big one serving is? This is one serving. So even if you don't have a gadget, if you're in a hotel and everybody's eating pizza, most hotels have microwaves, okay? You can do this. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add pizza sauce. Let me get my fork. Oh, I don't have a fork. So I'm going to put, I'm just going to put some pizza sauce on it after it's been microwaved. I'm going to put pepperoni. I like to put the cheese on last only because the cheese kind of helps keep everything together. But you could put extra cheese, you could do whatever you want. There's no like formula to do this. And then some bacon bits. And then you just microwave it. I'm gonna microwave this another minute. And we'll be right back. See that guys? See that guys? This is so filling. Like I've never eaten like four pieces of Little Caesars pizza, but I could. I only don't because it's so bad for you. But this will fill you up equivalent of like four pieces of pizza. It's that filling. And this is just one serving. All right. What's next? We're going to work on Chinese food. Is this slow? Oh, I burned my clients. They're not salvageable. I'm going to make more onions. Okay, we'll make mac and cheese first. Hold on a second. Once that, once I pan fry that and cook it, I'm going to add the cheese 
And one thing about these noodles, so they do taste like macaroni and cheese, but I feel like they need like a vegetable or something to go with them. I feel like they taste a lot better if you have a vegetable with them instead. So, and you can even throw shrimp in it. You can put lobster in it and have lobster mac and cheese. And it's healthy. These noodles, they lower blood sugar, they lower cholesterol, they help lower blood pressure, and they strengthen your heart. And they're no calories. They're all fiber, so they fill you up on, on almost nothing. Like the only calories in this is basically gonna be the cheese. So let me stir that, let me grab a fork. I'm gonna mix this up. I hope I didn't put too much HTM seasoning. Guys, I'll put in the, I'm gonna put in the description. It might, it might call for a half a tablespoon of HTM seasoning, because cheese is salty too. So I'll let you know in the description if um, people complain about too much salt. Hopefully it'll be good. And I'm gonna just cut off this broccoli a little bit. And you can even, uh, does every, everybody here can have shrimp? Is shrimp okay for everybody? Anybody don't want shrimp? You don't? Okay, well we'll, we'll just pick it, I, like you're not allergic or nothing, right? Okay, so we can just pick it up. I'm gonna throw some shrimp in here. And we'll let that cook. And while that's cooking, I'll let you guys try the pizza. But again, why, why would you ever eat mac and cheese when you can have shrimp and broccoli mac and cheese? You know what I mean? And it's, and it's, and it's good, like it's not, these noodles, to me, I've said this before, guys, but keto noodles are kind of gross. They don't taste good. I'm sorry, they're not kind of gross. They're gross. <laughs> this brand, to me, is the only brand to buy. That's why I have them. Um, everything I sell, I try it first. I don't like to sell anything that I don't like, that I won't consume. I've got friends that do Hearts of Palm. Anybody heard of Hearts of Palm? They're so expensive and they're, I don't like them, let's just put it that way. But other people like them, so more power to you, you know, but they don't have a noodle texture. They have like a mushy texture. So when you're going to eat a noodle, you expect to bite into it, not have it taste like mashed potatoes. You know what I'm saying? Like texture is important. So let that cook, and while it's cooking, I'm gonna show you the pizza. See that? Again, why, why would you ever be tempted to cheat when you can have this? You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna put, is there anybody here that doesn't like a little bit spicy? Everybody's okay with a little bit of spice? Okay. What I'm gonna do, this is my favorite way to top my pizza. I do salt, I do Parmesan cheese, and then I do red pepper flakes. Where are they? AJ, have you seen my red pepper flakes? Here they are. Oh my gosh, this on pizza, the best. I won't put too much because I'm scared of everybody. I'm gonna get a knife and have this and pass that out. But you can see, you'll be able to tell just by taking a bite or two how full you are when you do this. Kristen, you're gonna have to, you're probably gonna have to get a glove on and do this. I'm trying to cut it the best I can. Does anybody have questions? Don't hesitate to interrupt me. I mean, that's what this is for, it's to help you guys not cheat and eat healthy and do your thing. And honestly, my preference, I love being in here, I love selling food, but my heart is for you guys to be healthy. 
healthy more than just selling food. That's why I sell the mixes. That's why I give out all my recipes. Because I want you guys to take this home and make it at home so you can see, oh my gosh, it works. Oh my gosh. Like you do the meal kit. Literally everybody that does the meal kit, who's done a meal kit? How much weight have you lost in the meal kit? Different times. Different Let's say the first time or whatever. What's the most you've lost? Five pounds in a week? What about you? Five pounds in a week? Anyone else? You just started, so you don't know. But you said you're down about three pounds already. Okay, but you were just here Saturday. Today's Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's a pound a day. You know, it works, guys. This stuff works. So not just to lose weight, but to be healthy. Okay, let me see if the mac and cheese is ready now. Yep, it's looking pretty ready. Okay, the only other thing I'm going to do to the mac and cheese, I'm going to add, I already added a little bit of butter. I'm going to add a teeny bit of heavy whipping cream. It just makes it more creamy. It makes the cheese more creamy. Let me just do that real quick. Just like about a tablespoon per, a tablespoon per um, bag of noodles is all you need. Okay? And I'm going to put this out, and the shrimp is cooked. Look at this, guys. This is so delicious. Why would you ever cheat? I'm going to pour this in a bowl. Right? We said we we're going to make tacos. Oh, Craig, I want to show my customers. Um, let me put my glove on. Guys, you guys that are watching online, I want to show you. So, this is our normal bar that tastes like a mom's bar. Okay? These that Grace is packing right now are the peppermint bars. We just didn't put coconut on top so that we know which is which because they're basically the same recipe. These here are so good. These are the peanut butter chocolate chip bars, okay? And then the last bar is the mocha bar. Sorry, these ones are broken. We're not selling them. They're samples. But what I do is I just put cocoa in the coconut and coffee on top. And these bars except for the peanut butter one, are only about one net carb per serving. All right, I'm going to show you guys, too, how you can make a pizza wrap just with the tortillas. So if you're craving a pizza real quick or a taco, I'm going to clean this up right real quick. Well, didn't grab those noodles I'll show you guys what I did what I used
so, so good. I actually like the macaroni salad more than I like the um, mac and cheese, but they're all, everything's good. Um, these noodles are the ramen style noodles. If you look at them, they actually look and taste like ramen noodles. They have a little bit more carbs. They're 40 calories a bag and five minute carbs because they add a little bit of organic brown rice to them. And that gives them the ramen texture. And that's what makes them so good. I eat a bag of noodles every single day. I try to do three to four of my mixes a day and a bag of noodles a day. Now, I only tell my customers to do two mixes a day, but that's just what I do. So we're gonna make Chinese food now. What I'm gonna do is, I got sesame oil. This is soy sauce. Here's sesame oil. And my Asian slaw recipe is, is this right here. It's just equal portions. Sesame oil, uh, vinegar, sweetie, and soy sauce. And you have a delicious dressing. You can put it on salad, you can marinate meat with it, or you can make a Mongolian stir fry, which is what we're about to do. Now guys, I was gonna put onions in here, but they're gonna be crunchy if I put them. Do you guys want me to put onions in it? You don't care? They might not be cooked all the way. Usually I, I pan fry the onions first and then put the noodles, but I burned those ones, so. That's just supposed to show you what a good cook I am. Alrighty, let's just let this cook for a little bit. And while it's cooking, we'll do something else. But again, that's all you have to do. I'm gonna add some shrimp to this too. I'll do that. I can do it now while it's cooking. I just don't want a lot of water in here. Let's just finish this whole thing. This is one of my favorite dishes. I, I could literally eat this every day. Mongolian shrimp stir fry. The only thing is, I like to use green onions, but I don't have any right now. So for Chinese food, again, sesame oil, vinegar, sweetie, and soy sauce. You do one tablespoon of each per bag, okay, per bag. So if you're gonna do one bag of noodles, you're gonna do a tablespoon, 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 tablespoon. And that's what's in here. So we're just gonna let this cook and then as soon as it's done cooking, we'll, we'll um, serve it to you. Okay, what's left? Oh, we're gonna make a taco and we're gonna make a pizza. So let me do that right now. You did a pizza, didn't you? I'm going to show them. I'm, yeah, we did it. Okay, so we did a pizza mm. bowl. I'm going to show you how to make a pizza wrap. This is how we make the pizza at the market. taco. I spread the meat out. 
Um, and you can find this recipe online on my recipe books, okay? I just buy boneless, skinless chicken breast. I cook it till it shreds and I make my own fajita seasoning and I season it. So what I do is I put it in the middle and then I put cheese on both sides like this. And you can use as little or as much cheese as you want. My advice, I love cheese. I'm a cheese lover, but cheese doesn't love me. <laughs> so I try to get the taste of cheese without as much cheese. So I'll put like a little bit of cheese and then I'll throw some Parmesan cheese on it because Parmesan cheese doesn't have a ton of calories. So that's how I get my cheese fixed without all the calories. I'm gonna add salsa to this. Here's salsa. And one other thing I'm gonna add that I love on tacos is uh, guacamole. You can put sour cream, you can do whatever you want. You know, you don't have to make it the way I make it. Put whatever condiments you like on it. But the nice thing is when you have this in a pan and then you cover it up and the cheese melts, you can roll it up and you have a delicious crispy wrap. So I'm gonna just put some guacamole in here too. Okay, my favorite, and I've bought all the expensive salsas. My favorite is the Great Value Picante Medium. It's my absolute, I just bought, I got five of them in my truck. It's so good. It's my favorite one. I don't know why. I feel like it has more flavor than anything. Yeah, you can use, so I have a panini press. If you guys have a panini press at home, you can even make tortillas if you have the flat one. The one that they come together. All you need to make these tortillas is two hot plates that come together flat. You know, otherwise you're not gonna get a tortilla. You're gonna get more like a flat bread. Now I'm gonna show you how I make a pizza. What I do for pizza wrap, I put cheese all over the wrap. Like this. And then, I put pizza sauce. Sorry, is it, are you not seeing? Can you see better now? I put pizza sauce in a line. Because you're going to fold it up, okay? And I put the pizza sauce on top of the cheese because that way the wrap stays crispy. Like I have a method for everything. <laughs> You just learn what tastes better, you know? So that way you guys don't have to make all the mix-ups. And then I love all these turkey pepperoni. That's what I use. I put that in a wine. And then I just put bacon bits. And this thing is so good like this. And then what I do, I'm gonna roll it up and I'll put it on the panini press. But again, if, if you're doing it in a pan, you don't roll it up. You just put it in a pan, let the cheese melt, and then roll it up, and it's gonna be nice and crispy. And then this one, so, the pizza that I made you guys that you all tried is more like a deep dish pizza. This tastes like a thin crust pizza. So it's whatever you, whatever you like, you know. So we'll wait for those to cook and get hot and melt. Um, let me see how this is going. It looks like the shrimp is done. I'm just going to cut the noodles a little bit so we can divide them up. But these hot plates do not cook like a stove does, okay? So you, if you're doing this on a stove, it'll sizzle. It'll be crispy. It'll be really good. So if you like this, you're going to love it making it at home because it's going to taste better. It's going to be crispier. Let me just grab a knife. You know what? You should, um, we should give them a little bit of the Asian slaw too. Let them all try the Asian slaw. Okay. Asian slaw in here, AJ, and I just want you to scoop spoon some for everybody to try. I don't know if 
I don't know if everybody's had my Asian slaw, but the same dressing that I make. Here, sweetie. You need a you need a spoon, right? Grab a spoon. Yeah. The same dressing that I made for this Mongolian stir fry, I just cut up cabbage and put it in that. It's so good. All right, so that's done. We're gonna get the. Where's the bowl for the mac and cheese, honey? Is there still um, right here. here? Give that to me. I'm gonna put this in here and I'll wash it out. a single hot plate that I take with me when I go places to make this kind of stuff. Let me, I'm going to taste it just to make sure it's what it's supposed to be. these turned out. If you're craving a thin crust pizza, guys, this is what you eat. This will satisfy your craving for a thin crust pizza. If you're craving a deep dish pizza, then you do the pizza bowl like I was showing you, okay? There's so many things you guys can do. Like, literally, I can help you have an alternative for just about everything you crave. Um, I'm going to take this over there and cut it up for samples for everybody now. Alrighty guys, the pizza's ready. And salt is the taco. While she's serving that, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. My, my disaster. Grace 
loves me because she always cleans up after me. Well, this is not a mess compared to what I normally do. Good job. Hey, Tamara. Yes, somebody asked me something. Yeah, how would you do um, like a stuffing as a side for like Thanksgiving turkey? You use the, you make bread out of my, out of my bread mix. Uh huh. You make bread out of the skinny or the garlic. Like if you're stuffing, if you want to make it sweeter and add raisins and stuff to it, then you make it with the skinny mix. But if you want it more savory, and you, then you do the garlic mix. This is the taco, guys. This is the fajita wrap. AJ, put you got your glove on. Just give everybody a piece of that. And then this is the pizza. This is what tastes like a thin crust pizza. So you're saying that you can make dressing out of like your waffle? Uh, oh, the dressing? Yeah. Okay, the dressing is, is in my recipe book. Did you like that dressing? So instead of... She's talking about the stuffing and the oh, turkey. Oh, yes, you can make stuffing. Oh, yes. Right, but what... So what you do is you make... You either make bread, like you can microwave it for a minute and a half and cut it up into cubes. Or you can make waffles and just cut it up into cubes, like bread. Like bread. And then from there, you, you just do what you would do with, like you'd make stuffing. You can do that, yes. <coughs> Yeah, like especially for Thanksgiving. Maybe next week we'll do some something like that, or we'll make donut holes and pumpkin donut holes. How's that sound? Next week we'll do donut holes, pumpkin spice donut holes. And I get, I have to practice this stuff. It takes me two or three times before I get it to get make a recipe. So I'm gonna have to practice 
before I can make a recipe for something. But I can't imagine it's hard. Not at all. It's just the, the bread is the bad part in it. So if you just swap out the bread with um, skinny or garlic, you're good, you know? Anyone else? Anybody have a question? I put sausage. Hey, did give this pizza out. Sorry, honey, go ahead. I put sausage. Okay. Okay. Okay, but be careful about that because let me explain something to you. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain to you why keto works. Your body burns two fuels. It burns sugar and it burns fat. Okay? If you give your body sugar and fat in the same meal, your body will always burn the sugar, store the fat. That's why when you eat pizza, it makes your fat because you're eat, you're burning the carbs, storing the toppings. You know what I mean? When you eat French fries, you're burning the potatoes, storing the oil. And that's what happens. That's why, so when you're making your dressing, you have to pick. It's either gonna be sweet with protein style bread, or it's gonna be savory and you're not gonna put like raisins or apples in it. You understand what I'm saying? You don't wanna mix sausage and apples together because now you're mixing your carbs and your fats. Your body's gonna burn the apple, store the sausage. So that's what you don't wanna do. So this is like, Healthy Treats Market is like keto on steroids because it's not just low carb, it's low calorie too, okay? Like I keep saying, look at the burgers. That turkey burger is only 350 calories. If you get a Whopper with cheese, you're talking seven to 800 calories. And you're talking not four, the only reason there's four carbs up there is because of the low sugar ketchup. If I didn't add, if I didn't put ketchup in there, that'd only be one carb or two carbs. But the thing is, a Whopper, and how many carbs are in a Whopper? Like 60, something like that? I don't know, maybe not 60, maybe 40. But there's nothing good in a Whopper, but you can make that turkey burger taste like a Whopper, and it's half the calories. And that's why this works, because you're not, I get concerned about people that do keto that are doing super high fat, constantly, like, I, I really, really don't like the chocolates that everybody makes because it's just all eggs and cheese and almond flour, eggs, cheese, almond flour. I don't do, I have never lost a pound doing almond flour. Now, almond flour is better than grains, so if you're gonna have to pick one, pick that over grains. But the reason I do my mixes with coconut flour and flax is because I notice the weight come off and I notice that, that I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not struggle. I don't struggle as much. If I do almond flour, I love almond flour. It tastes so good, but it's very, very high in calories. And from my experience, I've not lost weight on it. Not that other people haven't, but just not me. So these mixes are not just, um, I mean, they can be dairy free because you can make them with egg whites and Greek, or not Greek yogurt. You can make them with like almond milk or something if you're, if you have a dairy intolerance. They're nut free because there's no nuts in them. They're made with coconut flour and flax. Um, they're, everything is gluten free here. I don't have anything that's got gluten in it. So everything is super healthy. Anyone else ask away, don't hesitate. There's too many people in here not to ask questions. Anyone got anything? Anyone online? You're allowed to ask a question, I'll answer yep. it. Did you guys like everything? Be honest. I did. You did? Very good, thank you. The main thing I want you to get out of this is that eating healthy is doable. You understand what I'm saying? Like you, you really can eat healthy and not deprive yourself. That's the main thing I want everybody to get out of. I guess we're done. Unless anybody has a question, you can ask away. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Feel free. You can shop. You can go home. I'm just glad I filled your bellies. That's what I like to do. Yeah, that's why I told you to see what happened. Are you full now? Good. Good. I'm so glad. Yeah, guys.
guys, don't hesitate to ask anything. You didn't tell me nothing to eat my burger. Oh my gosh, that's right. You got a burger. I would have told you don't. I would have told you don't. Don't eat. What's that? I do. I rinse them. So the thicker ones, I boil for 10 minutes to get a better texture. You don't have to do that. I boil them because I like the texture more. The thin ones, like the spaghetti and the angel hair and the ramen and the rice, I just rinse those and pan fry them. And I make, oh, are you, you Indian? Oh, I love Indian food. So I make a dirty rice with the noodles. And I do a lamb curry, and I just do the noodles, and it is so good, so, so good. And they're so healthy, you know? So, yep. It's way too quiet, man, this is so weird. <laughs> Ask me, don't hesitate. We're off, we're offline now, are we offline? No. Is are you anybody on? else watching? I mean, yeah, there's a Does few. Anybody have a question? So far, no. So I mean, except no. the one. I think everything is self-explanatory. If you're interested in a meal kit, for $100, um, you can get breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. And it's all made for you. The only thing you have to make is the little packet. You just add the egg whites, Greek yogurt, microwave it, and you're done. Um, it's a seven-day plan, so for seven days, every day you get, you have to eat a burger, a wrap, a bomb, and a mix. So you can do like a mix for breakfast, you can do a wrap for lunch, you can do a burger for a dinner, and a bomb for a bedtime snack. And you can still eat like salad, you can eat greens, you can eat whatever else you want, and you can make smoothies, it's just that food, those four things, believe it or not, are a lot of food, and you struggle eating it all, but you have to eat it all because at the end of the day, you're only eating about 1,000 calories. So you can't like eat the burger and say, I'm full, and then not eat the bomb, because then you're only at like 700, 800 calories. You know what I'm saying? So you get, yes, you get breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack for seven days, and it's all made for you for $100. Literally, the only thing you have to buy is egg whites and Greek yogurt to make your mix. That's it. Like, and, you, you know, you'd have to get greens if you wanted to eat salad and stuff. I don't provide that. But, yep. And there's other things. If you're online, I don't ship the meal kits. So your best bet for a single person, the variety bundle would be the next best thing. If you're on a budget, you should get the budget bundle. And if you're doing it as a family, you should get the family bundle. So you can look at the bundles online. Under the shop category, there's a bundles. And the recipes are all available online. So if you click on the three bars, if you go to healthytreatsmarket.com, and you click on the three bars, the second thing, the first thing says cafe menu and it just shows all this. The second thing is recipe book. And I've got, I'm up to about almost 200 videos now in my recipe book. So there's a lot of recipes in there. Anything you want is there. Our, our smoothies taste better than chocolate smoothie. I'm not joking. I should have made a smoothie for you guys to try. Have you guys all had my smoothies? Oh man, we gotta make a smoothie. Please make a smoothie. <laughs> All right, pick one. Should we just do vanilla? I really like vanilla. Or what do you guys like? Well, peanut butter chocolate is the more universal. No, uh, maple pineapple is too many carbs. Peanut butter chocolate is okay, pretty. Yeah, yeah, there's that's that's high carb. Only has about nine carbs. A cup of mango has like 25 carbs. So it's quite a bit more 
or same with pineapple. So, you said mango pineapple. So, if you're craving mango or pineapple, what you do is make a cake with the Baker's Basic, and you put a little bit of cream cheese frosting on it, and you just cut up a couple chunks of mango or pineapple, real small, and spread it on your cake. So then you have a mango cake or an upside down pineapple cake. And then you get your you get your fruit fix without all the carbs that go with the fruit. So that's one way of that's one way of satisfying your your sweet tooth, you know, is doing it that way. So that's why Baker's Basic is like a staple everybody should have. Everybody should have a big bag of Baker's Basic because you can make pancakes with it, you can make waffles with it, blueberry muffins, strawberry shortcake, lemon drop cake, lemon poppy. I make lemon poppy with it. There's so many things I do with Baker's Basic. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you guys Alright AJ, my phone's gonna die. Thank everybody for watching. Because it's delicious and that is the only thing. Thanks guys.